Hey guys, Kayla, Nick, and Cruz here, and we are just doing this fun wing it video to combat excuses. We hear excuses all the time about people saying why they can't work out, why they can't eat healthy, why they can't do this, that, and the other thing. So we thought we'd get our family together and do this fun, candid video for you guys, basically talking about excuses and why they suck and why you shouldn't have them. The first and probably the most important we'll talk about is the excuse, I don't have time to work out, eat healthy, insert whatever as it relates to health and fitness here because I have children. Now, although we don't have children, plural, yet, we have one. And he's a young one. And he's a needy one, obviously. He, he was a newborn at one point. He was at well, one point. He slept on the couch for six weeks. At one point he was. And yes, he did sleep on the couch because this working, hard-working woman here needed sleep to be to work at six in the morning. So, yeah, he was on the couch until this cute little bugger decided he was going to sleep through the night. What a novel concept. Mm -hmm. So naturally, him more than me, because I was still in my whole postpartum limbo, had to go through this phase of not really sleeping, sleeping little bits, quality, sucky sleep, not really eating, trying to remember to eat, and all that fun stuff. But I'll note one reason why he's so great through all that is he always got his workout done. I'm thinking, actually, I don't know if he ever said this, but when I was in the hospital, after, of course, everything, you know, kind of wore down a little bit, you know, he was here and everything was great. He actually went home and worked out while I, you know, sat, chilled with the baby, watched some Law & Order SVU in the recovery room and all that jazz. So, yeah, he went home and worked out. So like I was only two days behind the entire six-day program. Just two days behind, which, you know, naturally, the night when we were overnight in the hospital, um, so the night... That we went to, that we went to labor. This this little kid and I, and the night following, yeah, he he missed those two days. But the second night, he went home and did it. He got right back to it, and I lost my train of thought. But I guess basically what I'm trying to say is, if this guy is going home and getting his workout done after being up with me all night long, screaming bloody murder, you guys know what I'm talking about, you moms and all that stuff. You know what I'm talking about. If he can go home, or even you dads probably know that too. I'm sure you remember. <laughs> if he can do that, then why can't you just get up an hour earlier and get your workout in? No matter what you're doing, even if you're just going to do some jumping jacks next to your bed, a series of crunches, push-ups, walking up and down your stairs, why? I mean, why can't you just do that? So my favorite excuse is, you know, I have kids, so I can't do it. So yeah, kind of going back to what we were talking about, what I was talking about. So... He's sleeping on the couch. He's not really getting sleep. And About 20 minutes to, if I'm lucky, an hour and a half, two hours at a time. And, um, but, um, but seriously, though, if he's doing all that and he still manages his workouts, whether it's at 12 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, lunchtime, he managed it. Was it always fun? No. Did it suck a lot? I think so. But did he do it? Yes. So now that he's kind of out of that newborn phase and he's still sleeping through the night, there's still times when we'll get up later and he'll already be up and be like, wow, I want attention. How do you manage your workouts? And I know, and I know some people will, will be like, well, you guys have each other. So one person can work out, one person takes care of the baby and blah, blah, blah. That's not always the case either. Because sometimes, as you'll see, we do them together. So what do we do? You plan ahead. You plan ahead, people. You got a baby? He's got to eat, right? You time your workout so you feed him, you burp him, you set him down in front of you, and then you do it. Novel concept, I know, but we figured it out. So that's what we do. We have our little bouncer for him that's like right next to the TV, and we're facing the TV, so we're facing him, and he has so much fun with it. You've seen my pictures, you know. So we feed him, we put him there, that gives us enough time to work out. And generally, we can get through a workout, either of us, whether we're together, it's him or me because I'm at work and he's at home, whatever. We can get through it before he needs to be changed or before he gets like, all right, I'm sick of sitting here. And you've seen my pictures. He even does it with us. He's got his fists all up and everything. So it's come like on. Head, man. You, yeah, you got it, baby. You don't have time to work out. Bah humbug. That's not true. Go do it. Now here's another one. I have older kids. 
and they're always getting in my way and I can't work out. I don't know about this from experience, obviously. But what I hear from other people is get up before they get up. Um, depending on how old your kid is, you know, they may, they may get up at 6 or 7 or noon, I don't know. Just get up before them and do it. So that sounds good. What's another fun excuse that we want to combat? What excuses can you think of? Oh, how about this? It's too expensive. It's too expensive to work out. It's too expensive to eat healthy. So if we're going to get down to the bare, bare bones, it costs you nothing to run up and down your stairs. It, it costs you nothing to do laps around your kitchen or around your house or whatever. Is that really fun? No, but it's free. If you really care about money, go up and down your stairs. Go up and down your stairs or something. So that, that is something that you can definitely do. Um, but it's boring. You want something fun? There are a lot of gyms that are $10 a month that you can go to. I mean... To some people, yeah, that's affordable. You got 10 bucks to spare. Don't go to Burger King or McDonald's two times. And your gym membership's paid for for that month. Is there accountability to really get to the gym? Not always. I know some people, they don't want to go alone. I'm kind of one of those people. I don't want to go alone, so if no one else is going with me, I'm not going. That's a problem. So here's the solution. Aw, pumpkin. Where's my Work out at home. Which is better, actually. You might pay more up front if you want a really awesome program. Like I said in my Turbo Fire video, I spent like every last penny I had at that moment to get my awesome program. Changed my life. So yeah, you might pay a little more up front, but it's fun. You can do it on your own schedule. Um, did I mention that it works? Because it does. Um, you see our videos talking about it all the time. Working out at home. And you actually, I will say about the upfront cost, a lot of times, you know, if you aren't working out, and all of a sudden you say, yeah, I'm going to be good. A lot of gym memberships you pay first, last month, at sign-up time, whatever that might be. So you can easily spend 200 bucks plus that month's payment. And the, oh yeah, that registration fee that sometimes oh, yeah, you get. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, sometimes you'll waive it, but, you know, it's easily. So, I mean, you got options. Workouts, even, that you can use over and over. And the, the great thing about it is if you are a little bad, and okay, so it does sit on, sit on the shelf for a month, two months. It doesn't cost you 60, 120, 200 bucks, just there, nothing. And it's still there. So obviously, as you can see, you have options. You can run up and down your stairs, you can go to the gym, or you can work out at home. Uh, it's either, either any of those three are not for everyone. You gotta find the one that works best for you. You obviously know what one works best for us. The only thing I like about gyms are the classes. I am not a fan of gyms without classes, and I'm I'm kind of vocal about that. I actually like the racquetball thing. That's, that's really the only reason I like. I like classes. You won't catch me on a treadmill unless I'm like running a timed mile or something just for shits and giggles. You won't catch me on a treadmill. It's boring. I can't do it. I just stare at the clock and I'm like, when is it over? Tried the ones with the TVs. It's actually a bad for me. Even my favorite TV show. I'm looking at the clock. I'm going TV clock, TV clock, TV clock. No, can't do it. I need something that keeps me engaged. So it's not for everyone. What are other excuses? It's too expensive to eat healthy. I mean, yeah, immediately you're pulling through the McDonald's dollar menu. Yeah, three twenty-one or whatever it is with tax. But when you think mm -hmm. about it, you eat that. Admit it. You're hungry. Twenty minutes later, you are hungry. You feel terrible too. You're hungry. You are like. You're like, I want more food. Then you go back. And do it again. Yeah, three twenty one. Yeah, it's so cheap. You just spent three six or six sixty two now. Nice math skills. And there's no calculator right there. So look at how much money you're spending already. And then you're gonna be hungry again. And then you're just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. So yeah, it seems like it's cheap in the mo or moment, but it's not. But look at it this way. Yeah, it takes more effort, but if you. I don't know. Our go-to meals are usually like chicken and a vegetable. It's pretty. It could be boring. Maybe usually it's like we're busy with this guy. Spices are for. So we do want to eat something that's relatively quick and healthy to a degree. So get a pack of chicken. I don't know. We'll get real fancy. We'll talk a Sam's Club one. That's like twelve bucks. We'll say on average. So chicken, 
and you want to get a big thing of like the steamer vegetables because we do not like vegetables from a can. We cooked them wrong or something, but they were nasty. I am a steam bag vegetable woman for the win. It's, it's cheap. It's probably cheap vegetables for value. It's it's probably more expensive than you know getting fresh vegetables and steaming them. Blah blah blah. But let's just say you're not going the cheapest route possible. You're doing what we do. Big pack of chicken. Quick and easy. <laughs> and a steamer bag of vegetables. So you got the chicken that's twelve bucks, then you got the thing of like four steamer bags. That's no, there's six. I think. Well, regardless, we'll say it's four, and that's what like five, five bucks, six bucks. Oh, sorry. So we're looking at let's say about twenty bucks. So twenty bucks up front, we'll say with packs and the whole shebang. But how many meals does that get? Each chicken breast, we'll say they're the recently decently sized one. That's two. We got some gigantic ones. So let's say there's like six breasts in there divided by two. That that's twelve. That's twelve meals of chicken. If you're going by the serving size, sometimes you might want a little bit more. So, 12 servings of chicken and maybe a little bit less of vegetables. So, 20 bucks and you're getting, we'll say, we'll do a little math, we'll say 10 meals. That's 2 bucks a meal. And if you want to get real fancy and add like some rice in there or like a noodle thing, sometimes we'll throw like a noodle packet in if we feel like being Ooh, bad. You still think that eating healthier is expensive? You, you do? You do? Well, you're wrong. Um, what other excuses? This is getting a little long video. I wonder if anyone's sticking it out with us here. So we covered, it's, it, I have a child, so I can't work out. I can't. Ooh, ooh, here's another one. It's kind of tags along off the child. I'm too busy to work out. I go to school full time and I work and I have to cook dinner and I have to run errands. And blah, blah, blah. You're too busy to work out. I, I totally hear you. You're just, you're too busy. You're lucky you have time to breathe. Your life is so hard. I'm so sick of telling people sometimes that, oh, your life's hard. Because it might seem like it's hard, but it's only as hard as you're making it out to be. Let's go back to when I first started Turbo back in 2011. I was going to school full time, and I was working two part-time jobs, which we'll say equal about a full-time job. So full-time school, full-time job, and I commuted. So that adds two more hours onto my day each day. It was terrible. So... Full-time school, full-time job, both away from home, commuting. Now, that's busy. My secret, get up an hour earlier. I know we value our sleep. and We'd much rather hit that sleep timer or now use our cell phones as an alarm. We'd much rather hit snooze, slide our finger across the snooze like six times and get up. Yeah, I know. That extra hour of sleep, ooh. But here's another novel idea. I know. We're all stuck on Facebook. We're just dicking around and all that stuff. But just think, in the time that you just wasted on Facebook staring at Joe Schmo's status about who he's dating and where their uh, restaurant they're going to, and ooh, why is she dressed like that? You could have been getting an extra hour of sleep, get up an extra, you know, get up an hour earlier, and you're balanced out. Actually, they say, you know, studies have proven that when you do work out first thing in the morning, you have more energy throughout the entire day. And I know not all people are morning workout people. I'm a morning workout person because I know I'm, we all have days where we're like, nah, I'm sleeping. I'm guilty. I'll do it. But then when it comes time to get out of work and I get home and it's dark outside and I'm like, the last thing I want to do is work out. The very last thing. Do I do it? Yes. Because like I say, my goals are more important than my excuses. But do I like it? No. Is it fun? Not really. So doing it in the morning to me is much better. There will be people who will swear up and down by they're better at night. Power to you. It's true. I am a little better at night. I used to work out at 10, 10 11. Power Depending, to you. Depending, but I, I get a lot more use out of the day when I do it at 4.30 in the morning, 5, Sweet. whatever. How cute. It's almost his bedtime. We're, we're about to put him down. Oh, oh he's oh, pop buying. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. So, yeah, no, I think we, we've, co we've combated that excuse. I mean, that's, that's, my, that's my easy solution. Speaking of just, combat, just, like jabs me in the throat. <laughs> we love combat. But seriously, though, just just get up a little earlier. Or change your schedule around. I know, and then other some people will say, like, I'm too busy with social events. Sometimes it's really hard to say, listen, Joe, we were going to meet up at 6, but I got to do my workout, so it's got to be 6.30. He will understand, I promise. He will. And thank you eventually for it, I'm sure. Just say, I'm going to be a little late because I just did my workout and I got to fix my hair. 
Your excuses are going to define you unless you push past them. When your goals matter more than your excuses, you will succeed. I'm telling you. It's really that easy. Well, it starts out hard and it gets easier. We got to get back into a routine because it's hard. When I, got back, when I got back going into it after having him, it was hard. It's still hard. Trying to eat better, it's hard. And it's not always easy and we don't always do the best things. But when you work towards it, it gets easier. I'm going to cut this video off because I could go on and on and on. And I don't even know if anyone's still hanging out with us. But if they are, they're like, yeah, you're done. Cut it out. We might do a series two of this video. If you like it, let us know. Cruz had fun. But now it's time for him to go to bed, and then shortly we're going to bed because we're getting up early. Because I got to be to work at like 7, which means I'm getting up at like... Work out and fix myself. All right, guys. Thank you. Comment and subscribe, and let us know what you like about our videos, what you want to see. And uh, check out Nick's blog, leanmeandaddy.com. On my blog, but oh, okay. okay. Lean Mean, <laughs> it's blog.leanmeandaddy.com. Lean, Lean Mean Daddy is his website, but do blog.leanmeandaddy, and that's the blog. It has a lot of cute videos of this baby, so even if you don't care about Nick, if you just care about the baby, that works too. Bye! <laughs>